Hey everybody. Oh. Maggie missed you guys so much. She got a haircut this morning. She needed it. She was very, very cubby. She had a bunch of mats. We had to get them off. But here we are. We're back for floss tube. It's been since July 5th. So it's been a while. I'm sorry. Um, life just got busy. I mean, we're all busy, right? But it's real hard in the summer for us because we're gone every weekend to our camper. Um, and so I just, I just, it, I just never got to it. <laughs> um, she's jumping on my leg. Um, but I'm here now. It's Floss Tube 23, I believe. Um, I have a couple things to show you. I mean, I've been working on things, but to be quite honest, I can't even remember what I've worked on. Um, so I'll just have a couple things to show you. Um, and then I have a couple FFOs that I'm going to show you. And literally most of my... Um, most of this is going to be haul because, to be honest, ever since July, I have thrown things in a basket and I, I literally have no idea what's in there anymore. <laughs> so, she's scratching on my leg. So, it's going to be a lot, a lot of haul. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. I'll do that after I show my FFOs and my two uh, whips that I'm going to show you. Um, and then I'll do it after, the, after then. But I did just get back um, from Arizona. Um, I went there for work and I finally got to go to the attic. I loved it. It was so much fun. Um, I got to um, meet one of my friends there. I was going to meet another friend but she had a family emergency so couldn't meet me but another friend met me there and um, I spent some money um, honestly, I mean, I haven't been spending a ton of money. It's just that all of this has just accumulated since July. Um, so first I will go over what I've been working on. I have been keeping up with Teresa Kogut's Patreon. Um, her tier four, which is her true blue whimsies. We're doing a stitch along, which she releases a part every month. Um, she just released yesterday or the day before she released October's, but I have kept up on this. So that's taken some of my time, but I, I can't believe it. I'm keeping up. It's crazy. But here it is. It's called Strawberry Manor, and I love it. Last month I did the 2022 part, that little block, but then I went ahead and finished the entire border, which I'm glad to have done because borders are not my favorite, but I love this. Oh, there we go. Super cute. Now, if anybody wants to stitch this, you can still get all of the parts. If you join her Patreon at a tier four level, you can download them and get caught up. It's super cute. I'm stitching this on, it is, I actually have the thing right here, 18 count beach front by Be Stitch Me. I don't stitch with um, Ada very much, but I do like it on here. So yeah. Next, um, next month, or this month I should say, the next chunk has a man and a woman on it. Um, I can't remember what else, but bird I think there's a bird up there that's I just got the top part stitched but yeah so I've been keeping up on this so that's exciting go me <laughs> I'm like I am not getting behind on this one the next um thing that I have been stitching on um is hello from Liz Matthews her expo releases she went ahead um, and sent them to me. She's always so sweet and sends me a copy of them and um, I so I started autumn cloche and um, I did buy all the NPIs for this, so that was something I bought since my last floss tube. Um, I think I need to get a couple more, like the pink and the orange, I need to get another skein of. But so yeah, 
I have been working on that and I am still my stand, but here it is. Oh, let me put something behind it here. There we go. That's where I'm at. I love it. And I am stitching this on Bramble. Bramble. Um, I'll lift it up in just a second again. I wanted to get the color. I think I have the thing in here. Nope, I don't. I want to say it's Bramble. If I picture this plus. Um, but yeah. It's a kind of a darker, it's a gray color like she used, and I really like it. Trying to hold these up longer. I had a comment on my last video, like, to hold them up so you guys can see them longer, so I'm being more mindful of that. So yeah, almost done with that big orange pumpkin, and I'll probably work on that tonight and get that pumpkin done and then probably put it away for a while. Maybe. I don't know. I really like stitching this. So, yeah. Um, I do know one more thing that I've been working on my prints. I've worked on since then. Um, I don't even think I've put an update on my Instagram lately. I haven't stitched on it for a couple of months, but, and I can't even tell you. I bet my, I bet my, um, Oh, no, it's not dead. I thought my Kindle was going to be dead. Okay, so... This is where I'm at. I have done 48,580 stitches out of the 282,500 stitches for a 17.2% complete. And I have actually started getting into his hair so you can see that dark part it's kind of like his hair swoops in a way I'll put a picture up here so you can see it but that is where I'm at on that I haven't stitched on it for a while I need to get it back out for a while there I couldn't put it down and then I got working on other things so then um, yeah anyway so, I think, gosh, what else? Oh, I did work on, you know, I'm remembering. I worked on Witch's Hollow a little bit, and it's still in a Q-snap. But I'm not going to take it out, but I got this whole side here, so I have this much done. Um, I'll put a picture up. So I have this much to go on... Um, that third row so anyway yeah that's it besides oh I finished so I had two finishes so I will show you those in a second honestly I think that's it yeah I think that's it um I have three FFOs um, the first one was Caroline, ba Caroline Barringer by Summerhouse Stitch Works. And I framed it in this really pretty um, gold frame. And I love it. I did stitch these with the called for Gentle Arts Wools. Yeah. I'm going to hang that up on my wall. I'll probably put it in the middle up there. Alright, next is, this is by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. This is part of the Autumn Garden releases from Expo. This one is called Autumn Crow, I believe. And I framed it in this vintage frame. You can see my back. And this is using those cottage garden threads. Try not get to, to get glare. <laughs> you can see my glare. So yeah. 
And then my last one is The Handmaid's Tale by Wild Violet Cross Stitch. It finally finished June's big hat. And then this was a needle minder from It's Charm School. She's not in business anymore, but it says don't let the bastards grind you down. And I always forget how to say this. Nolite de te bastardis carborundorum or something like that. So yeah, and I finished that. I have more FFOs that I need to do, um, but I haven't yet. Okay, so I'm going to push pause here, and I'm going to get my haul stuff out. First, first, I'm gonna, I did a giveaway last time. It was for this cute little Lizzie Kate chart. And the winner I picked was Sharon Mahone, Mahon. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Sharon, um, if you watch this, go ahead and send me a message um, on Instagram or comment below. Um, I might even have your address on that Google form. I'll check. Um, but somehow I will either I'll comment on your comment. We'll get it to you. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop and then get my stuff organized for my haul and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I actually decided to move out here because it's starting to get dark out and my office is getting darker and there's a good light here and I'm in a countertop because with all of my haul stuff, I need somewhere to put it. So um, I am going to start with my stuff I got at the attic. It was amazing. All of the samplers on the walls, like oh, it was hard not not hard to not want to do everything. Okay. So first I got this is beautiful. Um, it's a 40 count lakeside lemon, linen and vintage pearl pearled barley. This was so beautiful and I've never had a piece nor seen it. So I decided to go ahead and get a piece of it. It's just just stunning. And it's it's an 18 by 27. Sorry, eyes itching. So I love that. I can't wait to figure out something to stitch on it. All right. So I got that. The next thing I got was, um, I think maybe it's Weigart. Let me see. Yeah. Um, it is called, it's a 36 count in magical gray and it's just a solid and the reason why I got that is because I wanted to kit up this and Topley 1802 oh, I dropped something I dropped a floss by the Scarlet House who is local to that area to Arizona so I wanted to get that and kit it up. The call for is Double Dyed Black Forest Linen by Lakeside, which I tried finding online. I couldn't find it, but this was a really good match. Um, I pulled all of the colors. Let's see if I can hold them all. You'll get the gist of it. So you can see um, the only thing that I changed is I got old blue jeans it's a little darker than it's showing but it's beautiful the so the parts that look blue is actually soot by gentle arts in that I don't know I felt like I wanted my guy to look like he had blue on so I um, subbed it for this blue, 
and the gray the soot actually didn't it didn't really look great against this so um, I just went ahead and subbed that out so that was the I wanted to kit up one thing while I was there um, and that is what I chose to kit up so I love that They had Raven in stock, so I grabbed a couple of those because I'm using it on something, I think, if I remember correctly, but I know it can be hard to find. So the next one I got was Mary Holly 1808 by the Scarlet House. I saw the um, model of this and these beautiful flowers, the blue, loved it. So I got that. Needlework Press is from the area. Oh my gosh. So the Deventer Duo, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but it's huge. And it, there's a book that has two um, in it. One is by... Hold, please. I'm going to go run and get mine. Okay, I'm back. So this is a Deventer Duo. It's by GGR and Needlework Press. So they both... Um, well, one's IDL. I'm trying to remember how this went. Ida Dorothea Lambert's 1806. And then, and that one was done by GGR. So she reproduced that one. And then the other one was EH1811. A Deventer Sampler by Needlework Press and that was this one and they had the original there the the vintage the oh, I'm gonna put a picture it's huge and you can see the very corner of the book on my picture and seeing it in real life makes me want to stitch it but I don't know which version I'd want to do. I kind of like this version because I like that, that, but you guys, it's huge. They are 398 by 315. And then the one that I saw was 437 by 334. So I didn't buy this here. I already had it actually, um, Michelle. Garrett gifted it to me so whew, I know when I was there I texted her I'm like look and she's like wow like the size it was crazy anyways all that to say needlework press she had a lot of her things here and she had this cute little one um I saw the model and it was adorable and it was based on her one of her oops drawings and I thought it was just so cute so I had to get it then I got so then there was a Kathy Barrick um, trunk show so I got to see some of Kathy's pieces and um, this one I fell in love with because it gives me all the Little House in the Prairie vibes with the mill wheel thingy and I loved the um, whatchamacallits, the stones, rocks, whatever. But yeah, so I went ahead and got that. And then Samplers Remembered, Linda Danielson is also local. And so I saw this sampler. Um, I think I might, if I took pictures, I will put them in, I can't remember what I all took pictures of, there's so much. But um, this one's called Isabella Inglis. It's an antique reproduction by Samplers Remembered. And that was so beautiful in person. So I got that. And then this was a model in person too. St. Nicholas by Jenny Lane. And these are all French knots. And funny story, 
Jenny works at the attic, so um, and she's originally from Minnesota. So we were talking for a little bit, but I didn't realize that that was her. And then when I went to check out, Sherry, who was checking us out, was like, I would like to introduce you guys to the um, designer. And so my friend Susan and I got to meet her, and she signed our patterns, and we took a picture. I'll put that up in here somewhere. But yeah, you guys, the attic was amazing. It was so amazing. Um, I'm so glad that I finally got to go. Um, it, yeah, it was just so much fun to see in person. Super cute. I'll, um, oh, sorry, my nose is itching. Um, I'll put a picture of their door, the front door, and then they had a cute little chalkboard out front that was actually looked like a sampler, but it was drawn on with chalk. I'll put that picture here too, but yeah, that was super fun. I'm really glad I, I spent about two hours in there. Probably could have spent more time, but I knew the longer I'd spend, the more I'd spend. So, all right. Now, like I said earlier, I have. Oh, I feel like my allergies are just like really crazy right now. <coughs> um, I have no idea what, what's in here. Literally, it's full. So, let's just start. October Color and Cotton. This is the only fabric club I'm still in. Um, so this is October. It's called Nantucket, and it's beautiful. Next is, um, I'm in Farm Girl Michelle, um, her Patreon, and I'm in the top tier level, and it is also a... As part of it, she does a fabric every quarter. So I just got my third piece. I do 30 count. No, I mean 40 count, duh. You guys knew that. And I feel like she needs to die and sell, but I'm sure that she, <laughs> that's got to be time soon. But look how beautiful this is. It's a beautiful sampler color. Kind of a grayish taupe with a green. It's beautiful 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 and then she also sent a little goodie bag that has a tea and an apple cider packet so she put those in there all right next is um, Kitten Stitcher had an exclusive um, Hands Across the Sea sampler, sampler just recently. Um, you might still be able to get it on her website. I'm not quite sure, but it's called Margaret Doyle 1850, an Anglo-Irish sampler, a limited edition exclusively for Shakespeare's Peddler from the design studio, studios of Hands Across the Sea. And that is so pretty. It is... What is the count? 136 by 175, so not huge. Um, she did have like two different kinds of silks that you could buy or the DMC. I'm just going to do the DMC. I have all the colors. But I did buy the um, fabric. And it's an A if that's all you need. So I just went ahead and got it. And that's so cute. So cute. Okay. Next, I did get the exclusive on the home. I always forget the name of the group. Everybody is in the Facebook group. Home. <coughs> Homespun Needlework Group. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, you guys. I am still jet lagged from that two hour time difference from Arizona to Minnesota really messed me up. So. Anyways, and I shouldn't be tired right now because it's only 3 o'clock there, um, or 3.30 or there, um, but I don't know. Anyways, all that to say is um, Home Step Bun Needlework does exclusives all the time, and the last one was the Scarlet House, and I wasn't going to get it because it's a lot of money, but... 
I loved it. It's called a sampler for all seasons. It says, when the weather is hot, rainy, or cold, I look at my chart and stitch as I'm told. The wind may howl, raindrops may fall. In my, I'm in my own world and safe from it all. With colors of thread from every hue, it makes me happy. This much is true. And I did get the, um, I got the whole kit. You guys, I haven't even opened this yet. I literally just put it in. Um, oh, so it is, the fabric is needle and flax stein back, which is gorgeous. Here are the colors. I went ahead and get got those. I like that it just didn't call for much sugar plum, so they just gave you that little bit. And then it looks like they sent this is to make two pillows um, so that is what all came in the set I'm just gonna put this back in here quick otherwise and I think Shepherd's Needle, I think that's where you ordered these through. Um, I don't think you can get them anymore. I think that that is done with. There's a new exclusive coming out. I can't remember who it's from. I don't buy them all. Um, it just would be a lot of money. Um, I don't buy them all, but this one I just loved so much. Okay, next is, so I think this was my last Fiber on a Whim Club Through Stitchy Box. I think this was July's, and I just got it like a few weeks ago. Um, I think she was behind, but it's a beautiful color. It's Dolce de Lici, and I get 40 count. All right. Here is my... Must be September bag from So Much to Love. Here's a sampler was in it. Let me see. Oh, is it here. There's a note. Let me see. Is this September? Yep. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then she always sends. Um, oh, here's a thread thing and some snacks and a tea. Um, she just sent out for 2022, and I'm not going to renew this time. Um, I have so many bags that I literally like just can't I don't even want to all right then like I said earlier Liz sent me her new releases here's poppy cozy for a friend and then her seventh day of Christmas all is calm all is bright and then winter garden so got those then I placed an order with farm girl um, after Expo and I got this pansy patch quilts and stitchery blue birds and blue bells is so pretty and then I got Teresa's new book the Halloween book which, being a patron, um, I do already have some of the patterns, but I just love her books so much. So I got that. Then I placed an order through, oh, <laughs> my card from Liz. She always writes a little nice card. Okay, then I placed a couple, an order from Top Knot for Expo, and I got this scary sampler. By Heartstring. Um, she recently just released, instead of this, like, this up here, it's like a pterodactyls, I think. Um, she released one with, like, bats and stuff, like an update. So um, I will stitch that. I actually have it in my email, so I need to print it and put it in here so I don't forget. And then I ordered Kathy Barrick's <laughs> Witch Training Academy because it's amazing. And I saw that one in person, and it was amazing. 
and then um, a free chart that came with for the autumn garden part, but it's just the chart, so I don't want to show it. Then, so I ordered, I was in the Fortnite. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, on top of allergies, I actually, before I went to Arizona for work, not la last week I was gone, the week before, I was sick. I was worried I had COVID again. I didn't. I took two COVID tests, but I had a fever for two days, and I'm still getting, I still get that icky in my throat. But I also think there's a component of allergies right now with the leaves and everything. Anyways, um, I... I know I don't know if Fortnite Fabrics was behind or what, but they were they had a sale one time, and I ordered se several things from their sale. And then um, I think that I had several months of my um, Fabric Club that I I just I got a big package from them, and so one of them that I got was. Um, pause. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> my sister called and I wanted to FaceTime with my nieces. So anyways, what I was saying was um, I got a big order from Fortnite Fabrics. Um, a few of them I think was my last clubs and then I, like I said, I had ordered some at, <sighs> I'm really struggling tonight, um, ordered some things at 40% uh, off, I think they had a while back. I can't remember. One of the things I got was the color anem Anemone. And, the re and I got it in a 32 count. And the reason why I got that is because I wanted a pink for this that wasn't so pink. I think it's going to be beautiful. And then I have the bead kit that I already had. But now I have fabric for it, so I'm excited about that. And then the other colors, I know I had won this on one of their lives. Um, I can't remember the colorway. Um, this is a 36 count Enchanted. That'd be awesome for a Halloween. A 36 count Beloved. 36 count Cozy Cave. I know they were having a hard time getting 40, so that's why a lot of these are 36, which I also like. This one's Shark Fin. And then a 40 count Darlin, which is browns and grays, is beautiful. So, got those. Um, I got the two more of these. I was ordered them from Crazy Annie Stitching. I don't know if this is all of them now. I think it might be. Um, July color and cotton. <laughs> See how long this has been in here. Um, July is called Haystack. September is called Spectre. August is called Barley. And then this must be August bag. So cute. And some taffy. A needle minder. It's wood. It's really cute. And a little chart. And here's two. <laughs> Two more of the fragrance 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 in time. So these are yeah, these were the last two. So these are five, six, seven, and eight. And I already had one through four. Oh, here's another thing that I got from um Kindred Stitcher. Home is where my stitching is by the primitive hair. And it was a kit. I I think I bought some more flosses. They're in a di different bin, but um, 
Fierce Fiber in the Wind Amber. It's an orange color. Fiber in the Wind Buttermilk. And that was it for them. Oh, <laughs> more. This is another package from Liz that I got with her with releases. These, I think these are her summer releases. Those were her expo. Um, Quaker Gardens. Six Day of Christmas. Card. Garden Side Sampler. You Are My Sunshine. Wildflowers. Forget Me Not. And this must be July's bag. That is by Annie B's Folkert. Maggie. Megs. Um, there's some trims in here. Some candy. Tea. Megs. And then this is from Crosshatch Quilts. I finally got one of her Megs. And that is my haul. Yikes. Now I gotta put all this away. Yeah. But yeah, so that is what I got for four months. Um, like I said, some of it was ordered quite some time ago. Some of it's just catch up on the, the clubs, some exclusives. In the attic. I have no idea what these were for. I I have like a bin with a bunch of flosses in that I literally, I know I ordered for something, but I don't know what. Um, and I tried these needles. I t um I got these from One Two Three Stitch a while ago. <coughs> I've been using the twenty eights and I love them. And the twenty sixes look real really nice too. They're not huge. I like 28s, but these are very nice. I don't know. Some like 26s to me like seem bulky, but but that's it. Um, I probably won't get this up tonight yet, but I will probably get it up tomorrow because I'm gonna do some editing, put pictures in and stuff. So all that'll take me some time. Um, I don't have cute. Er cute um, starts to my videos anymore because I was paying for a Canva membership that I wasn't using and that's a lot of money so I'm not using those right now but it's okay um anyway Maggie you want to say goodbye come here come here come here come here she's just looking at me come here you want to say goodbye Nope, she's just staring at me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm so sorry it took so long. Hopefully my next one's not too far in between. I know winter's coming, so it's going to be a lot easier. Like I said, we're not gone on the weekends like we were all summer, and so it just got to be difficult to do them in the summer. But anyway. I appreciate all of you guys watching and take care. I hope all of your stitching is wonderful. My next update, actually, I'll be back um, next Wednesday. I leave for the Farm Girl Gatherings, formerly called the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat, the fall one that I went to last year. I'm going to it again this year, so that is in a week and a half. Um, I'm excited to do that, but yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.